onions, julian cut, corn, some water, dry, four cups of rice. The best now it's the best part, right? Now it's the best part. Now put one teaspoon garam masala. Welcome to Aria's Kitchen. Today's menu is my favorite chicken biryani. Let's see the ingredients. One whole chicken cut into 16 pieces. Eight to ten small julienne cut onions. Two medium sized chopped tomatoes. One cup of yogurt. One tablespoon spoon of ginger garlic paste, one tablespoon red chili powder, one tablespoon coriander powder, half tablespoon cumin powder, half tablespoon turmeric powder, salt to taste, green chilies crushed, eight to ten dried plums, but we're gonna soak them in water. Four cups of rice soaked in water after we're done with our chicken gravy. Potatoes optional. Let's start chopping our onions and tomatoes. In a pot, heat up one cup of oil. golden brown, we will peel the potatoes. We will peel potatoes and half boil them with one teaspoon salt and two pinch orange color. As I said, potatoes are optional. It's up to you to add them. I personally love potatoes in biryani. You can see we already put the potatoes with orange color and salt. Now we will add chicken to the golden brown onions and the salt till it change color. Chicken has changed color. We'll add crushed green chilies and ginger garlic paste. We'll add all the masalas and the yogurt and our chopped tomatoes.
Let it cook for 15 minutes. Our basmati rice washed and soaked in water for 20 minutes. Water for boiling rice is on the stove. Chicken gravy is cooking. Potatoes are almost half done. We are almost all set to layer and put our biryani for simmer. In almost boiling water, we will add three bay leaves, five cloves, one big cardamom, one half teaspoon salt, fresh mint, one cinnamon stick, half cup oil. We will add all this in the boiling water. The rice is boiling, we're going to preheat the oven to 350. Let's drain our rice. Now it's the best part. We're going to layer the biryani, then put it for simmer. I can't wait to eat this delicious biryani. teaspoon garam masala now we're gonna layer the potatoes on top fresh green chilies and fresh cilantro now we're going to put it on our biryani it gives a nice smell to the biryani for your pre-boiled, half-done rice. Gavra, water, and orange color. Now I'm gonna pour it on top of the rice to give it a nice orange color. Now we're gonna put the dried plums or aloo bakharas in our biryani. I wash my hands, so make sure you guys wash your hands. It's heavy, so my dad will help me put it in the oven to simmer on 350 degrees Fahrenheit 
for 40 minutes. If you don't have oven, you can simmer on stove on low medium flame for 45 minutes to one hour. We will take it out of the oven after 40 minutes and dish it out. It smells so good. Please try my recipe and tell me how it is. I hope you like it. Serve it with raita and I'm super excited to eat it. Arafis! <laughs>